What's going on? It's your boy Engineer Mojo. If you watch my videos on cars, you know I'm kind of like the family mechanic. So the car in the family, 2007 Honda Civic. Today we're going to do an oil change. I'm going to show you how I do it as efficiently and cleanly as possible. Hopefully you pick up some nice tips off of this. Alright, first thing, whenever I'm working underneath the car or anywhere near the car that I have to jack it up, I always use jack stands. Under Honda Civics, they have a reinforced section where you can apply your jack stand. See this metal clip here? I use this on both sides of the car uh, just for extra safety. And the reason I can easily apply the jack stand to both sides is because I jacked the car up from the front. As you see on this cross member, there is a reinforced section right here where you can jack the car up. All right. So whenever I'm changing oil on any car, I like to stay pretty clean in what I'm doing. So I always put down a towel. I put down the drain pan I'm going to use for the day. All right, so I'm underneath the car. I'm on the passenger side of the car. Honda does a nice thing and they actually say engine oil on the oil pan. And that shows you which drain plug to remove. Honda also does a nice job. And they put the oil filter right next to the oil pan and it's easily removable with your hands before you remove the oil drain plug or the oil filter you want to pop your hood and you want to just a quick note usually on hondas they tell you what oil to buy right on the oil cap so 5w20 is what we're using today so you want to remove this well not remove it but just loosen it and allow air to be able to pass through your engine block. You don't create a vacuum within your, your engine. It makes it easier for the oil to drain through. Think of it like when you're drinking through a straw and when you suck it up and you put your, you hold your tongue to the top of the straw, the liquid doesn't fall down, correct? Same thing happens in your engine. All right, the video here is a little awkward just because I'm underneath the car. Basically, I'm going to take a 19 millimeter socket and this is going to be applied to the actual oil drain bolt. Remember lefty loosey is to loosen the bolt, righty tighty is to tighten it. We want Just make sure that your pan is positioned underneath the bolt. Push it a little forward because as fluid spills out, it will want to curve forward just a little bit. So to catch it, you just wanna put it just, just slightly forward of the bolt. And this is another tip. Usually I heat up the engine, I let the engine run for about five minutes just so that it gets a little loose and it makes it easier to drain. So the engine oil, usually when I work on a car, is a little hot, so I'll put on gloves at this point so that when I actually do break this seal, I don't burn my hands <laughs> with the hot engine oil. All right, loosen the bolt enough that I can use my hand to do the rest of the way. As you see, I have my gloves on, it's kind of hot. Almost there. Voila. Oil is draining. Now at this point, I'll uh, you know go get something to drink and and kind of relax. I'll let this drain for about five minutes or so. Typically on oil drain bolts, you'll have a washer on there. You definitely want to replace this. Every oil change. Note as that's draining, as it's getting close to the end. Luckily on this Honda, they designed it pretty well that the oil, like I said before, the uh, oil filter is pretty close to the oil drain. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And again, it's lefty loosey on that. Sometimes if you take your car to a shop, they're very tight, they're not supposed to be on that tight. So sometimes it's a pain to get those off, but hopefully this doesn't, hopefully this is not a pain. If it is a pain, they sell oil filter removers. The other option is if you have some sandpaper around, you can use some sandpaper to get it off, but I'll just use good on option number one, which is my hand, to loosen it. All right, I lied. This thing was on pretty tight. So just a tip that I use, I took just a, your typical Brillo pad that you use to wash dishes. This is pretty gritty. And I'll just grip the oil filter and I'll twist, bang. And as you remove it, you'll see there's some oil 
that will spill out. Usually I'll let that drip for a little bit. Sometimes during these uh, how-to videos for cars, people like to know what brand you're using. I'm using uh, CarQuest full synthetic motor oil and a pure rollator filter. When I'm doing an oil change, especially if it's an older vehicle, I really don't care what type of oil I'm using as long as it's the correct weight and viscosity. Don't see yourself trying to buy the most expensive brand of oil or what you think is going to get you the longest way. It's not very much difference in oil. If you're not racing your car, if you're just daily driving your car, get what's on sale. All right, so before I install anything, I always inspect what I bought. I look at the seals and I actually do this before I leave the store. I pop open the box just to look at the seals. The seal looks pretty good here. I compare the size, make sure it's pretty much the same size as what, as what I'm taking off, just so that I know that I have the right part before I try to install it. From here, what I do is I apply a light film of oil on the rubber seal. So I've taken some old oil that I had, unused oil. I put my finger, dip my finger in there, have it lubricated, and I'll take the seal and I'll just rub the oil on there around. I'll get the outside edge, I'll get the top, and I'll get the inside edge. That's really all you need. All right, this is very important so you don't want to cuss yourself out next time you do an oil change. Is when I reinstall the oil filter, I screw it in there, and right when I can't turn anymore, uh, as far as like free turn, so see how it's loose. I'll spin it, and when it stops at that point, from there, after free spin, can't spin anymore from free spin, I actually need to apply some pressure to tighten it. I go approximately three quarters, so wherever my thumb is here, I try to make it around to about right here. So if I start here, Start at 12 o'clock, I try to make it back around to 9 o'clock or shorter uh, wherever I get to the point where I can't really twist it anymore. And uh, that's good enough. It's pretty snug from there. So from here, I'll go back and I'll apply the oil drain plug. This is pretty simple. You just put it in there. And again, this is righty tighty. Here's the torque specification for your oil drain plug, but you know, if you don't have a torque wrench, don't worry about it. Usually I tighten it snug tight. You can see the oil filter and oil drain bolt are both tightened back. What I've done now is I wipe down everything so there's no remnants of oil. Except for right there, I gotta wipe that down. Try to wipe everything clean of oil so that if there is a leak, when I test for leaks, I'll be able to see it. I'll be like, oh, that, that oil wasn't there before. There's a small leak, so I wipe everything down clean. All right, so now it's time to refill the engine with oil. Honda Civic non-SI model. This is a non-SI model. It requires 3.9 quarts of oil, approximately four quarts of oil. You never want to put too much oil in your motor. Again, you never want to put too much oil in your motor. Uh, you'll have issues with oil getting into your cylinders that way. Tighten up your oil cap, and then from here, I'll wipe this down again. Any oil I'll spill, I'll try to clean it up. I uh, just want to make sure that you leave a clean surface whenever you're working on your, your vehicle. Clean work surface translates to a clean install. That's like I said before, I'll check for leaks, and what that means is I'll go ahead and turn the car on. You know, a couple minutes, three, four, five minutes. And I'll keep it jacked up that way I can, you know, see and look to see if there's any leaks coming from the motor as the motor is running. If that works out fine, then you're done. Oil change is complete. We're looking pretty clean here. No leaks. Now, so if you have a Honda Civic, one of the last steps is, as you see, it usually tells you your oil life percentage. To reset that, all you have to do is go to the left. And you'll see a select reset button. Hold this for 10 seconds. 
until that starts to flash. When that starts to flash, you release the select reset button and then you want to press it again for about 5 seconds until that resets to about 100%. Voila! Alright, one of the last quick notes. Please, please, please dispose of your oil properly. I put it in this container and I take it to my nearest auto parts store and they will dispose of it for free. Do not pour this down the drain. It's just my PSA to save the earth. Please, recycle. Don't pour oil down the drain. All right, oil change is done for this 2007 Honda Civic. Any questions, please comment down below. I love answering questions, love talking to people that I don't know. If you have any tips to make this easier, please also put that down below. You may be able to help out somebody, you may be able to help out me. If you like the video, please like. Uh, if you like me, like my face, anything, please subscribe. I always make these videos to help people. Uh, I've always gotten help from YouTube, so I like to repay the favor and throw out help into the YouTube land, into the internet universe. So hopefully this helps somebody. And we are done. I am out. Have a good day.